All right. This video is going to be another uh, video that's specifically on a certain topic, a certain technique, and that is polynomial and synthetic division, section 2.3. Oh, Scotty, it looks like you dropped your scarf. It's getting cold out. Better put that back on. I kind of feel like that guy from uh, the UPS commercials right now. So, what we're going to learn how to do today is how to divide this polynomial by this polynomial. Alright? And what we're going to do is, we're just going to kind of write it like we do normally for math. So we're going to write that divided by that. Alright? And we're going to see we have x and we have x squared. We need to multiply that by x to get it to be x squared. And we're going to write x squared because it's x plus x times x plus 1 times x, which is x. Draw our line and write, subtract x squared minus x squared is 0. 3x minus x is 2x. Bring down the 5. Well, we got to multiply x by 2 to make it 2x. And we're going to plus 2. It's going to give us 2x plus 2. So we have 2x minus 2x is 0. 5 minus 2 is 3. So it turns out that x squared plus 3x plus 5 is equal to this times this with a remainder of 3. Okay. Another example. Say we want to divide x cubed minus 1 by x minus 1. Well, what we're going to do is, we're going to write the x squared terms. x squared and x terms, even though they're not there. So, we have 0 x squared, because there's no x squared term, plus 0x minus 1. And we're dividing it by x minus 1. Alright, so we need to multiply x. We need to multiply x by x squared to make it x cubed. It's going to get us x times x squared, which is x cubed, plus x squared. Okay. This is negative 1. So we're really going to have minus x squared. So it's going to be x squared times x is x cubed. Minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 0 x squared minus negative x squared is really plus x squared. Bring down the 0 x squared x so we need to multiply x by x to make it x squared. It's going to give us x times x, which is x squared, minus 1 times x. It's going to give us 0 plus 1 times x, because it's 0 minus negative 1, which is plus x. Bring down the 1. Well, this is just x minus 1, which is what this is. So, we're just going to multiply all by 1, right? 1 times x is x, minus 1. We subtract these, we're going to get 0, minus 0. So, there's no remainder. So, it turns out that this is equal to this times that. So, x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to x cubed minus 1. Pretty neat, huh? Alright, here's a little bit of a trick. When we're dividing by x minus k, which we've done in both cases, this was k being 1, this is k being negative 1, because it's x minus k. 
we got a little bit of a trick. What we're going to do is, we're going to look at these terms, and we're just going to write up the coefficients. So our x to the fourth term is 1. Our x to the third term is 0. It's not there. Our x squared term is negative 10. Our x term is negative 2. And we have a 4. Then, we're going to write this guy like this. And we're dividing it by x plus 3. So our k is really negative 3. And we're going to write that right here. Because if k is negative 3, we're going to have x plus 3. What we're going to do is we're going to add up the rows. So first we're going to start writing 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. Then we multiply it by this. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 4 plus negative 3 is 1. Now, these are going to be our new terms. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to start a degree lower. So it's x to the fourth here. So this is going to be our 1 x to the third minus 3 x squared minus 1 x plus 1. And this is going to be our remainder, which we're going to write as plus 1 divided by x plus 3. Okay? One last example. Say we're given f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x minus 2. We know there's a root at x is when x is 1. That we know is when x. We have, we have the term x minus 1. So I'm going to divide that out of there. Let's see what happens. Well, this is x squared. x squared minus 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 1. We need to multiply that by x. It's going to give us x squared minus x. Well, that's 0. Minus 3x plus minus x. Minus, minus 3x minus negative x is going to be minus 2x. Minus 2. Well, I need to multiply x by negative 2. And we're going to get minus 2x. I had a little bit of an error here. This is plus 2. Okay. So then we're going to get plus 2. And we're going to see that's 0 plus 0, which tells us that x minus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Alright, so we are given one root, we divide it out of the equation to find the second root. So there's also a root at x is equal to 2. There's root at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. Here are your questions. Have a blast.